Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and welcome to the first lesson on statistics. Now what we're going to be looking at in this first tutorial is the three different types of averages when applied to discrete data. Now the three different types of averages are the mean, which is the average that we most commonly refer to. It's a calculated average. We then have the median. Well, the median is the central value. If we take all of our pieces of data and put them in ascending or descending order, then the median average is the value that sits in the center. And then the third average is called the mode, and the mode is the most frequently occurring piece of data. Now we're going to look firstly at the mean, and on your equation sheet for the statistics topic, we have an equation for calculating the mean of discrete data. And that equation appears like this. X bar equals 1 over n times the sum between i equals 1 and n xi. Now that sigma notation may look confusing, but I just want to explain it a little bit just to make you aware of what it actually means. First of all, the most important symbol or the most important part of this is this here, sigma, which means the sum of. Now what this is telling us is we're summing or we're adding all the values where i ranges from 1 to n. So if we had n bits of data, let's say for example n was 10, that would mean we had 10 pieces of data, 10 independent discrete pieces of data. The sum of 1 to n means we would have to add up all of those pieces of data from piece of data 1 to piece of data 2, piece of data 3, all the way up to piece of data 10. That's what that sum from i equals 1 to n of xi actually means. So we would take the 10 pieces of data and add them up. At the front of that we have 1 over n. Well 1 over n is the same as dividing by n. So what it's essentially saying to us is we're going to take all of the pieces of data, in this instance here I'm saying there's 10 of them, we're going to add them all up to get a total, and then we're going to divide all of them by the number of pieces of data once again which is 10. So let's take an example of this just to explain this formula in a little bit more detail. If I take 10 pieces of data, uh, we've got 4, 5, 4, 6, 3, 2, 7, 8, 7, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 pieces of data. This part here tells us to sum or to add all of those pieces of data from piece of data 1 all the way up to piece of data n, which in this instance is 10. So the first step is to add all of those up. Well, adding all of these up will give me the sum between i equals 1 and n of x, which is the pieces of data, equals, and adding those up gives me 53. So the sum of all of the bits of data is 53, but I have 10 pieces of data. So what this expression, this 1 over n at the front tells me, is I need to divide the sum of all of those bits of data by the total number of pieces of data that I have, which is 10. Therefore, in this case, 53, which was the sum of all of the bits of data, divided by 10 gives me the mean average of 5.3. And that's all this notation means. It's telling us to add all of the bits of data together and then divide by the number of pieces of data. If we look at that same piece of data now and we consider the median value, well, to work out our median, the first thing we need to do is to put all of those values into numeric order, either from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. So in this case, we've got a 2, we've got a 3, we've got two 4s, we've got a 5, we've got a 6, we've got three 7s, and we've got an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The median value is the central value, and in this case we've got an even number. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits of data, and then we've got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits of data. So we don't actually have a middle value. So what we would need to do in this instance is find the middle of these two values. Well, the middle of 5 and 6 is just 5.5. .5. So that would be our median average. Now the mode is the most frequently occurring piece of data, and now we've got these numbers in sequence here. We can see that the number that occurs most frequently is 7, because we've got three sevens. The next closest is fours, but we've only got two fours. Therefore, the mode 
is 7. So just to summarise here, we've got our mean average, which was where we added up all of the pieces of data and then divided by the number of pieces of data. In our example here, that gave us a mean of 5.3. The median was when we lined all of the pieces of data up and then we found the central value. Well, because we had an even number of pieces of data, we didn't have a central value as such. So we took the centre of the 5 and the 6 and therefore we got a median of 5.5. And our modal average, the most frequently occurring piece of data in this case, was 7. So 7 was our modal average. Let's take a look at another example with a little bit more data. And this time I have a list of data points given here. The first thing I need to do is establish how many pieces of data I have. So counting down this list, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pieces of data. Therefore, in this example, n equals 15. So the next thing that I'll need to do is add up all of those pieces of data because if you recall our formula said the sum of x to the i, x to the i being each of these individual pieces of data between i equals 1 and n and in this case we know n is 15 that's telling us we need to add those 15 pieces of data up. So what we would do is we'd do 3.4 plus 4.3 plus 3.8, all the way down to our very last piece of data, again, which is plus 3.8. So if I do that now, that will give us 60.1. You really need to take care when adding these up, or you could alternatively use something like Excel to sum all of that data for you. Now the next thing we know then, if we recall the second part of our formula, the second part of our formula said that we needed to multiply that by 1 over n, which is the same as dividing it by n. So what we can do now is we can take our 60.1, we can divide it by n, which was the total number of pieces of data that we had, and this time that gives us 4.006. So the mean average of all of those pieces of data is 4.006, that's the mean. If we wanted to find the median then, to find the median, we would need to line all of those pieces of data up in sequence. So lining those up in sequence, we would get the following. 3.2, I'm just going to cross these off as I go. 3.4, 3.6, and I've got 3.8 times 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. I've then got a 3.9 and a 3.9, so two 3.9s. I've then got 4.1, 4.1, 4.3, 4.4, 4.4. And all that I've got left is 5.0, 5.1. This time I have 15 pieces of data because n equals 15. So the middle value is going to be the eighth piece of data. The eighth piece of data will leave 7 before and 7 after. So I'm going to count these off. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, the median this time is 3.9. Now, as we've gone through that process of lining those up in sequence, what you've probably noticed is that we've actually also determined our modal value. The modal value is the most frequently occurring piece of data. Well, 3.8 occurs four times. Therefore, our modal average is 3.8. The next closest was 3.9, 4.1 and 4.3, all of which only occur twice. So therefore our modal average is 3.8. Just to summarise then, we calculated our mean, first of all. And our mean value was 4.006, our mean average of that data. Next, we found our median by lining up all of the pieces of data and selecting the middle value. And that gave us a value of 3.9 as our median average. And finally, we selected the piece of data that occurred most frequently, which gives us our mode or our modal average. And in this case, 
it was 3.8. So this method here applies whenever we have discrete data, and by discrete data I mean individual values as we saw in our original list.